only covering risks but also contribution of uh, you know financials so with this i uh, request uh, sir uh, cfd of national insurance to share his view thank you sharad and uh, shri hemen bankur and the senior officials of the mcc chamber of commerce before i say something i I would profusely thank the MCC Chamber of Commerce for giving me the opportunity and uh, talk to and interact with these uh, industry captains here and your esteemed members. And your welcome speech was a very erudite document, I should say that. This uh, covered a lot of areas and uh, I mean, quite a lot of research has gone into it. A lot of data has been collected and I compliment the, the team behind this and uh, you for really coming out with and very uh, good posters have been placed before us. In fact, uh, it's a comprehensive review of the industry. See, uh, general insurance industry in India is about, uh, last year it was about 85,000 crore a business and this year it might touch, I mean we thought it would cross 1 lakh crore but it might not, it might find a little uh, short of that due to some economic kind of slowness which has happened in early of uh, this financial year. So there are about 28 uh, general insurance companies in the fray now, out of which about 4 are uh, completely owned by government of India. One is uh, exclusively for agricultural insurance because that is one sponsored by all the four companies. Then there are uh, other private companies and there is one general reinsurance company which is called the GIC reinsurance company. This is a structure of the uh, general insurance industry today. So there is a heavy competition here and the fact is that uh, the industry uh, despite, I know it's very strange that ever since the uh, privatization occurred in uh, year 2000, the industry has been continuously growing at almost hovering about 20 percentage growth rate. In the last three years, it is, as uh, Sharad has been talking about, it is coming slightly down, now it's about 10 to 12 percentage. But ever since, the Indian general insurance industry has been earmarked as one of the fastest growing uh, general insurance industry, even among emerging nations. You know, you take China or something like that, it's been uh, quite fast. Enough. And Indian GDP also has been growing quite well. I mean, you're talking about 7, 6 percentage or whatever it is. But then the fact is that your penetration continues to hover around 0 0.80, 0 0.70 and kind of this thing. We have a look at it. Is it because of, uh, uh, you know, really we are not penetrating? It is a matter of fact that, as he said, only uh, a, a minimum amount of population has been covered by this. But the fact is also, it is, uh, see, you, you compare it with China, you compare it with Korea or you compare it with Taiwan. There, the fact that is the, the manufacturing uh, segment of the GDP substantial. In India it is almost only 17 percentage while 60 percentage of your, uh, your GDP is services sector. We really do not generate that kind of insurable assets or that kind of high valuations. This could be one of the reasons. And very interestingly, today uh, almost about 30 crore of people have been covered by some kind of uh, general insurance policy or other. I mean including as Sharad said, including the government schemes by the uh, you know group health insurance schemes group health insurance schemes and uh, the personal accident scheme, the prime minister's scheme and all that. But this, I mean, there are very few countries in the world which really has persons of 30 crore uh, populations covered. In fact, they don't have that kind of a population. I mean, so that way India has done well, but the fact is that uh, the uh, penetration is the globally accepted factor of indicating the development of the segment and there we have not really performed it's only about 0.80 percentage. So having said that now let me come into the uh, industry issues as well. So there are a lot of questions which I would like to probably handle uh, kind of a thing. This is invariably connected to economic slowdown. Today, can you hear me? Yeah, there's some problem. Yeah. Is this working? This is also working. Uh, this is working. Yeah. Probably I need to talk a little closer to it and I'll do that. It's okay. uh, yeah. So, uh, the, it is connected to the economic growth as well as because we insurance companies get you know assets uh, which is being created and that is being insured. Today, the entire generation industry in this country is driven by two segments, which is called motor insurance and health insurance. Which is basically you know motor insurance is the automotive industry has been really growing in this country, tremendous penetration in two wheeler and four wheeler and all that kind of thing. We've been riding on that, which is almost mandatory. So uh, you need to ride on that and that has been a major growth driver. Health and also has been a major driver by two ways. One is personal health uh, you know, insurance.
insurance uh, demand has been going up because the cost of treatment has been really skyrocketing. You go to a hospital and then really you have to pay a, a large amount. Apart from that, the government of India and many state government has also come up with a huge kind of schemes which covers, you know, gives a basic cover of, of 30 to 40,000 rupees or in many states up to 2 lakh for selected, uh, you know, procedures. So that also has pumped in a kind of a thing. And these two becomes the major drivers in the industry. You know, the other insurances which used to be driving like fire insurances, marine, aviation insurances, your liability, all those things have not been really catch up with the large volumes. But this is a typical picture of any emerging economy. You take any emerging economy, the generation industry is driven basically by retail business, that is mostly by health and more. And, and we believe that this tendency would continue to be there for some more time. And we also believe that industry would continue to grow at a seven to um, uh, around 12 percentage continuously and another three or four years. And if the really economy picks up, that means a huge FDI investments do come in. For example, we are seeing a not much traction in power, despite the coal allocation, despite the gas allocation, despite you know, uh, uh, the, the clear pricing norms that has come in. The results now would start coming in very slowly and this industry will come up. And we are also seeing some kind of slowdown in the infrastructure investment in this country. And that also, we are watching it carefully to see that how it will affect the growth rate of the industry. So we feel, A, is that industry will continue to grow at minimum 12 percentage in the coming three years. And it will continue to generate a lot of employment as well. Because industry, general insurance business is one thing, and it has also an ancillary system of agents, there are professional brokers who are, you know, expert groups who really advise the customer on how to go about it. Agents are representing insurance companies, while brokers represent the customers. That is the major difference between them. These are all uh, gated and regulated by the IRDA, which is a regulator, just like SEBI in capital market and RBI in, uh, in banking. Uh, IRDA is our regulator. Then you have a lot of surveys. In fact, we are facing a lot of shortage of good surveys and loss assessors. And we would uh, really want more younger crowd to come in and that uh, is, I mean, would be happening. So there is a lot of employment potential here for surveyors and legal fraternity. I mean, uh, there is a huge amount of, you know, uh, kind of legal cases going on in, against the insurance company and insurance company filing against others in MACT claims and good lawyers are, are a huge uh, in, in demand here now. In, and, and as the industry grows and more and more players comes in, the members of the legal profession will have more employment opportunity in the industry, which is already catering to a substantial amount of the legal professionals' uh, employment in this industry. Then you have you know, more more on to move on to specialized areas like chartered accountants. The, all the industry recruits a huge amount of chartered accountants, 